Today I'm going to go over how to copy and paste a reservation from one trip to the next. The most common situation in which this is used for would be for uh, groups where you typically with a group you have uh, multiple reservations that are all very close to the same they're all at the same resort uh, roughly the same date so sometimes it is easier to copy and paste one from one to the next and change small details than it would be to uh, build each one from scratch so in here I've got David Lewis's uh, trip here you can see it is part of a group here uh, friends and family to Mexico in October and I've got all of this filled out and then if I go down to the reservation here you can see I've got all the booking details in here now this one um, was booked with GoGo -Go in this example so for those it's probably not worth copying and pasting because you can just import the child booking into each one but this is just an example typically that's going to be used for a supplier that we are not integrated with where you'd have to manually put everything in so scrolling down you can see I've got the transfer and the hotel in here with all the details in so if I don't want to have to keep manually putting this in on every person that books into this group what I can do is I can come into one that I've already done like this one and I can click store reservation copy that's like the copy part of copy and paste and then let's just go to the dashboard here and let's just use my profile as another guest that is attending this this group here so we're gonna go into my profile you still have to create the trip like you normally would and let's say Lauren is going with me on this one and I'll name the trip I will select the status the type I'll just say adult vacation on this one and then I want to link it to the group here and when I link it to the group it's going to automatically fill out the final payment due date and the trip date so I've got all that in and I'm just going to click create now normally the next step would be where I would add a new reservation but since I'm going to paste an, a previous reservation that I've done in here I don't need to use this what I need to do is scroll down to the trip reservation section and you've got two options you've got paste most recent reservation what this is for is it will just paste um, whatever the most recently uh, modified reservation will paste it in um, I personally always click the store reservation copy so I know that it's the right one and then I just use this button instead so I'm just gonna say paste saved reservation and what that's gonna do is paste in everything exactly as it was on the other reservation there are a couple things that you're gonna have to change every single time for example the booking number uh, most likely you have a child booking number so you're gonna wanna update that the other thing is it also pulls in the guests as they were in the other one so obviously myself and Lauren are going on this one not David Ashley and Gretchen so what you can do is just click refresh from profile and it'll say are you sure you wanna reload guests you say yes and now it's gonna put in the correct names based off of whose profile it's under and any additional attendees you have checked so I've done that and then the other thing you may need to do depending on the situation is you might need to play around with the the details so the one I copied from was a uh, triple occupancy whereas this one's only uh, double so there are no children on this particular one which may or may not also change the price so maybe this is twenty nine fifty and in some cases maybe you need to change the dates or the number of nights so you know they're coming in on the 15th but they're staying an extra night so we would put five and that makes the checkout date the 20th um, of course obviously if I add a night it probably uh, puts that price back up where it was or maybe a little more even so we'll just say 3400 and then click save so by doing that again you don't have to manually put everything in you can just copy from one to the next update the small details if you even need to um, obviously you're going to need to update the booking number and the guests but other than that that might be the only thing you need to do so uh, if you have any questions let us know thank you